challenges. We face them every day and on every job. Berard's mission is to be proactive and plan for the obstacles that come our way and overcome them. The Berard team was commissioned with the difficult task of transporting a service ship support barge known as the Triple SB from Newport News Shipyard in Norfolk, Virginia to the Alabama Shipyard in Mobile, Alabama. The Triple SB was built in the 40s by converting a World War II tanker into a dockside nuclear refueling vessel used to support the refueling of surface ships. With the vessel now obsolete, the U.S. Navy required transportation of the decommissioned Triple SB to the selected dismantlement site. The Triple SB measured 268 feet in length, 68 feet in width, and 110 feet in height, and weighed in at 6,200 tons. The team utilized 192 axle lines of SPMTs, eight power packs, loading ramps, high volume water pumps, and a 400 foot by 105 foot deck barge. From planning, engineering, and execution, the team had 7,614 total man hours. The Triple SB had a water transit of 1,635 nautical miles with only a quarter mile of ground movement. We're proud to say that the team experienced zero incidents or accidents. The Triple SB was definitely a unique project. Our company has been in business since 1945, and in that time, we moved some pretty interesting cargo. The Triple SB was one of those, and I'm very proud to be affiliated with it. When we were first introduced to the Triple SB project, it, it came with many challenges um, and restrictions. Um, we, we were dealing with a um, an old T2 tanker barge built in World War II era that had now been con converted into a dockside refueling barge for uh, nuclear vessels. As with every project, safety was our number one priority. As you can imagine, transporting a vessel this scale, especially one containing radioactive material, had its challenges. Numerous measures were taken to minimize and ultimately eliminate any exposure or environmental concerns. Prior to departing, personnel had to secure internal components, which required them to enter radiologically controlled areas. Dosimeters were worn throughout this process to monitor any exposure levels or expo uh, contamination levels to ensure that any exposure was within acceptable ranges. As always, safety is our ultimate goal on any project. This project consisted of 7,614 man hours, which was completed on time, and most importantly, incident and injury free. Once awarded the project, Berard project managers and engineers began the planning phase. When we were awarded the project, the planning phase began immediately. Our operations, project management, and engineering team went to work devising a solution to get the Triple SB from Norfolk, Virginia to Mobile, Alabama. With a typical wet tow operation not possible, the Berard team had to find another solution to get the cargo delivered. Structurally, the Triple SB was um, not able to be uh, wet towed from Virginia to Alabama because um, of the modifications that had been done to it over time. Um, it, it had to have a certain ballast configuration to be able to be moved even short distances and deemed stable. So a, um, a pretty in-depth uh, ballast plan along with calculations had to be reviewed and approved to, to move the short inland wet tow from Newport News Shipbuilding to a neighboring shipyard in the Norfolk area. The restrictions for the inland move of the Triple SB were things such as daylight move only, uh, tugs touching the Triple SB in a certain place, and weather restrictions, and, and a uh, very defined ballast configuration to be able to do so. Engineering played a heavy role in getting the Triple SB delivered. 
For a project of this magnitude, we have multiple design considerations to take into account. We had to de-ballast the triple SB to ensure a centerline center of gravity for the trailer pressures. We also had to check the deck loading in the dry dock and the barge for the weights imposed by the SPMTs. Once the planning phase was complete, our team moved forward with the execution phase. Our team went over and beyond on this project. There were many long days working in adverse conditions, but everyone pulled their weight and came through in the clutch. Our team faced many challenges, and I'm proud to say that we overcame everything that was thrown at us. That inland move went well and was successful, and, and Triple SB was transferred onto a floating dry dock. Once the Triple SB was on the dry dock, then we were able to um, implement our SPMT configuration to, to lift the Triple SB and move it from the dry dock to a, a waiting deck barge. Uh, the challenges that associated with this were that the floating dry dock had a predetermined freeboard based on its capacity, which caused us to ballast the deck barge below its load line, which was deemed safe uh, through documentation presented to the Navy. Once we had the triple SB onto the deck barge, then the sea fastening plan was was also applied, which um, was which was modified by uh, NAVC and the Navy heavy lift team because of the weak ends, bow and stern of the barge. Once the triple SB was set down on the deck barge and the barge was deballasted to tow height, we had to install approximately 60 steel stanchions on all four sides of the triple SB for the ocean tow. Per NAVC and the Navy heavy lift team, the bow and stern due to their uh, limited structure we we increased the amount of sea fasting on the ends as as a preventive measure in the event that we encountered rough seas once the sea fastening was complete the triple sb's ocean voyage began and some of the restrictions associated with that were predetermined ports of refuge and weather restricted travel where where we were caused to contact each port of refuge to establish that there would be adequate berthing space and advise them of what our cargo actually was. So now the ocean voyage begins. The voyage took nearly two weeks and there are many challenges along the way. Our team watched closely during this voyage. And as a matter of fact, our PE Jacob Vollmer found every live cam he could along the eastern Gulf Coast to watch the Triple SB pass by. Our PM on the project, Tim Wilson, jokingly said, she was stopping in the Keys to take a vacation. So boys, she may be late to show up in our Dayton Mobile. The ocean transit was made successfully. There were no weather restrictions. We couldn't have asked for a, a more perfect voyage. When the Triple SB arrived in Mobile, it was the beginning of the end of this long and complicated project. After all we had been through, it was a grand sight to see it coming into the Mobile River. Once the Triple SB arrived in Alabama, the challenge was now a much higher dock than, than the dry dock that we had previously transferred from. So a new ballast plan was created and then we had to time a high tide to be able to make that transfer a success and, and also to allow plenty of time to safely offload. Our team offloaded her without any issues and lowered her down in her final resting place. Once the Triple SB was safely offloaded at the Alabama shipyard, we transferred it onto a similar blocking plan and left the Triple SB in place for dismantlement by our customer. Due to the multiple phases, including the wet tow, transload, ocean tow, and offload, this is probably one of the more interesting projects I've been involved with at Bayard, and I'm proud to have been a part of it. I've been working in the heavy transport and rigging industry well over 20 years. This project far exceeds my previous projects with regard to logistics, the amount of entities that needed to be contacted, and just the overall scope of work. I'm extremely proud to have been associated with moving a piece of military history, of my company, and my fellow team members at Bayard Transportation. I can't say enough about our team and how they went the extra mile to get this project completed. 
Our client was extremely happy with our performance and that's always nice to hear. It solidifies and makes all the work we did well worth it. I reflect back upon my grandfather, Roy Bayrard, who started this company over 75 years ago and the excitement he must have felt when he moved his first house. I can relate because I felt the same way with this project as it was definitely one of the most unique and challenging to date. I think he would have been proud if he could see this. He not only started a company, but left a legacy that lives on in every project we do. I was very proud to not only be awarded, but to execute this unique and challenging project flawlessly. Over land and sea, the Berard team delivered. Congratulations, team, on a job well done.